This morning, President Obama is responding to the growing backlash against Wall Street. As Bill Plant mentioned earlier, he's announcing plans to limit executive pay at companies that take government bailout money. Here's how it would go. Top salaries would be limited to $500,000. No bonuses would be allowed, and any additional compensation would be paid in company stock. Now compare that to the compensation for the CEOs at four of the biggest banks that were bailed out, including more than $31 million for Citigroup's chief. So you might not find it surprising that Citigroup is taking heat from some in Congress for a major league sponsorship deal. CBS News correspondent Priya David is here with that story. Good morning, Priya. Maggie, good morning to you. Citigroup received billions of dollars in federal bailout money this winter. But back in 2006, the bank entered into an agreement to pay the New York Mets $400 million over 20 years for naming rights to their new stadium. Now, as the stadium nears completion, City Field isn't getting the kind of publicity the bank had hoped for. Last week, Citigroup gave in to public pressure and gave up a new corporate jet. This week, the bailed-out bank is again under fire for its plans to spend nearly $20 million a year to put its name on a new baseball stadium. They just act as though the taxpayers' money is free money and they can spend it any way they want. Well, no, they can't. Congressman Dennis Kucinich says taxpayers have the right to be upset. And then their money is going for these banks that are just doing anything they want with it. Well, that's not right, and they have to be called on it. A few years ago, a bank's name on the side of a stadium was positive PR, but now it can be seen as a sign of wasteful spending, particularly if that bank's been bailed out with taxpayer money. They want eyeballs. They want goodwill. But right now, there's a lot of bad will because of their plans to name the stadium. And Citigroup isn't the only company asking for bailout money while paying to have its name on a stadium. There's also Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte, M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, and General Motors Stadium in Vancouver. More companies are going to have to look at their image and how they're promoting themselves and how much they're spending doing it. Citigroup is reportedly considering whether to back out of the stadium deal or not. If they don't, Kucinich offers this suggestion. So maybe it should be called U.S. Taxpayers Stadium. And on Tuesday, another bank attracted controversy. The Associated Press reported that Wells Fargo was planning a lavish corporate junket at two high-end resorts in Las Vegas starting Friday. The bank recently received $25 billion from the federal bailout. Wells Fargo has denounced the report, saying the gathering was just a series of business meetings. But the bank also announced those meetings have now been canceled. Maggie. Because I know those meetings in the past have included horseback riding in Puerto Rico. Helicopter rides. Wine tasting. Absolutely. you got to be careful with that kind of stuff these yeah. days. Thank you, Priya.